Okay, <clears throat> lists inside lists. So you've made ordered lists and unordered lists. Top work. What have you, what if you have an ordered list, but each item in the ordered list also has an unordered list nested in it? Nested simply means inside the list. The editor has a small example of this. Hit save and submit to see what the results look like. Remember, you've been nesting tags already. When you nest tags, the tags you open is the first one you close. Here's an example. Okay, so unordered list, list item, tacos, list item, unordered list. Instructions on line 21, create an unordered list. Okay, so line 21 is right here. I'm going to create an unordered list. Unordered list, open, unordered list, closing. And then I'm going to nest in between those a list of two items, favorite boys' names and favorite girls' names. Okay, well, this is going to be confusing. So we got a list item, favorite boys' names. I guess that has a <clears throat> apostrophe. And an ending list item. Okay, another list item. There's the opening, there's the closing. In between those tags, we'll put favorite girls' names. All right, step three. Under each item of the unordered list, create an ordered list. Use the ordered list to specify your three favorite boys' names and your three favorite girls' names. Use the samples nested list above as an example of how to do this. Okay, so this really doesn't help much how to do this. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under here and I'm going to put an ordered list. So that's the opening and that's the closing ordered list. And then I'll put the same under the girl's name. Opening ordered list. <clears throat> closing word list. And then within each of these, I'll make some space. I indent a little bit for some list items. So I have list item number one. And I'll go ahead and close this tag. And then I can just copy and paste that. Copy, paste, paste. And then I'll go make a little bit of space in between this ordered list on the girls' names. Paste, paste, paste. All right, so this looks, this is looking good up here. Favorite boys' names, one, two, three. Favorite girls' names, one, two, three. Now all I have to do is put some names in there. Okay, so the first favorite boy names, and by the way, I don't really have any favorite boy names, so I'm just gonna put some crappy names here. How about Orville? Like Orville Redenbacher. That's a fun name. How about uh, hmm, Thurston? I think he was on Gilligan's Island. Waldo. That's a fine name. Okay, so now for some, well, some girl names. Let me see. Here's, what about... Um, Mystique. That's always really interesting. Or desire. Or my favorite, treasure. Yay. All right, I think I did it all. Submit. Next, making comments. We have covered a lot about lists. Let's change gears and do some styling. If you recall, HTML is the skeleton of the web page, and CSS lets you give the skeleton some skin and makeup. But it's possible to do some inline CSS. This simply means we can do some styling in our HTML file without worrying about a separate CSS file. We'll learn this first because it will make learning S uh, CSS a lot easier later. Before we drive into the fonts, or before we dive into the fonts, it's important to learn about making comments. You can include little notes in your HTML code that the browser won't display, but it will be in the code to help you remember why you did certain things. Okay, so instructions. Number one, comments start 
with the angle bracket bang hyphen hyphen and end with a hyphen hyphen angle bracket like this. This is an example of a comment. Uh, number two, okay, I'm supposed to make this a comment, I guess. Make line one into a comment. So I do angle bracket, exclamation mark, hyphen, hyphen, and then I'll go down to the end, hyphen, hyphen, angle bracket. It says leave the text on line three alone. Okay, so I can think I just hit submit. All right, start next lesson. Font size. Recall that the P, opening P, and the closing P tags are opening and closing tags. We can give tags more instructions by including attributes in the opening tag. An attribute is simply a characteristic or some description for the content in the element. You saw this with the source in the image and the href in the anchor tag. Let's change the size of the text. How? We use the style attribute and make it equal to the font size followed by a colon, the size you want, and end it with px short for pixels. For example, p space styles equals quote font size full colon 12 px end quote and curly bracket. Instructions on line 7 make the text size 10 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to line 7. I'm going to add an attribute within the p tag. So I'm going to put a little space here. And I'm going to write the word style. <clears throat> and I'm going to say it equals and then two quotation marks. So that's going to hold the style. This style is going to be font size, font hyphen size, full colon, and then uh, it's supposed to be 10 pixels, so 10 px. All right, now we're going to go to line 8 and do the same thing, except we're going to make the text size 20, and we're going to do the same thing for line uh, 9, except we're going to make the sex, I'm sorry, text size 40. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this little style equals quote font size 10 pixels and I'm going to copy it and I don't think it's cheating if I just paste it in here is it? <sighs> I hope not. There's no cheater detection system on this thing at all. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and change it so instead of being 10 on the second line it will be the 20 that it's supposed to be and then on the third line, it's going to be 40. Okay, I think I've done all the instructions. And all I have to do is hit submit. And it works. Great. Start next lesson. Font color. What is awesome about the style attribute is that we use it a lot. <clears throat> and we can use it with many different tags, not just P's. Let's now change the colors of our text in the heading. To change the color of text, simply add the style attribute in the opening tag. Then make the style equal to, quote, color, full colon, blue, end quote, or whatever color you'd like. For example, <clears throat> we've got an H2 tag, style equals color, red. What if you want to change the color and the size of the text? Simple. Just add a semicolon between each bit. For example, we've got uh, style tag equals, and then, quote, color, full colon, green, semicolon, font size, full colon, 12 pixels, end quote. A full list of available colors can be found here. All right. Do not, do not type something like this. Okay, this gives us some H2 tags inside of H2 tags. If you incorrectly nest your HTML tags like that, that your code will not pass. All right, instructions. Change the heading color to green and its size to 16 pixels. Okay, so first I find my heading. Here's the heading tag h1 put a little space in here and I'm going to type in style equals and then quote quote and then within the quotation marks I'm going to say uh, let me see the heading color so type in color full colon green semicolon font hyphen size full colon and it's supposed to be 16 px. All right, that's done. Instruction number two, change the color of the first paragraph to violet. Okay, so here's my first paragraph here. I'm going to put a little space in here. And I'm going to type in style equals, and then quote, quote, put my uh, CSS in there, in those quotation marks. And I'm going to say color, full colon, 
violet. All right. Step three, change the color of the second paragraph to red in its font size 10px. Okay, so I'll go to the first tag, put an attribute in here. The attribute is my style attribute. So style equals quote, quote, and I'll put color, full colon, red, semicolon, font, hyphen, size, full colon, 10px. And I like to put a space in after my semicolon to make it easier to read. All right, that is done. We'll go ahead and save and submit and go on to the next lesson. And uh, let me see how many left we've got here. I think we'll um, carry this video on later. So um, we'll end this video for now and start over in the next video.